All right, folks, here we go. Um, my review of a special movie you probably haven't heard a thing about, Mending the Line. Uh, this summer, there have certainly been blockbusters. The only blockbuster that's been of interest to me so far was Guardians of the Galaxy. Fast and the Furious, even though I like a lot of members of the cast, no sale. Bad dialogue, too much dialogue, too much garbage, and should have been. But anyway, I won't talk about Fast and the Furious or any of that stuff. But Mending the Line, yeah. It's not that happy-go-lucky sunshine and rainbows movie, but because, um, just because it deals with some heavy material doesn't mean that it's going to drag you into the dumps. Let's talk about what Mending the Line is all about. Now, if you look at a poster when you're scrolling through what your cinema has, if you don't see something you like, I'm like, well, that looks interesting, but I don't want to see two hours of a movie about fly fishing in Montana. Well, that's not really the story. It's part of the story, but it's not the story. It's almost the setting. Uh, you have a fella, somebody uh, of rank uh, from Afghanistan, the main character, uh, was injured and went on patrol on their very final day of a tour of duty. And things happened. And he blames himself. He's struggling with his own wounds. He wants to go back. Um, it's the only place he feels at home, with the Marines. Cinque Walls just puts on a uh, mine. I think this has been my first exposure to him. I think I've seen him as, uh, you know, a, uh, smaller roles, but I've never seen him in a lead role. He's fantastic. And what can you say about Brian Cox? You know, with Brian Cox... You know, if you've seen Succession or anything else he's been in, I don't care if he's in a movie for five minutes as a villain, kind of like Sean Connery at the end of Robin Robin Hood. Are you Robin of Loxley? He Immediately, I thought Robin Hood was a stupid movie, but immediately went up a star because Sean Connery was in it for a minute. That's the power that Brian Cox has. His, um, you know, you, you've got the... Uh, rough around the edges, Brian Cox, but this is a good guy where you peel the layers away to get to it. Beautiful. And there's a Perry, I want to say, I, I'm going to have to go back. I wish I could scroll the internet again. I, I had it remembered, uh, but there is a, an actress in here who does a fantastic job. As someone who isn't uh, affected by war, but certainly is helpful to the veterans there. Uh, I've always said with uh, the men and women uh, who come back from Iraq and Afghanistan, that uh, patriotic appreciation is great, but we have got to dig a little deeper. Got to dig a little deeper. Um, the, these folks have been through a lot. And, um, you know, I think the patriotic appreciation is, is great, but we also have to have just greater appreciation for what they've been through as human beings. It's really got to be deeper. You can't just look at them as symbols. They are individual stories with their own individual struggles, physical, of the soul. And this movie really goes there. Um, just, um, you know, it, uh, it it deals head on with uh, just what they struggle with. There are some really powerful moments in this movie. It's, it's not a recycling of what you've seen of past movies. You know, they... They go through the war sequences and they just kind of set it up and, you know, it's it's not, you're not in Afghanistan the whole two hours, but you can see how Afghanistan is in the main character, Vietnam, and Brian Cox's character. But it, it's, it's a movie about healing, uh, an honest movie about healing, because you don't, you don't completely heal from something like that. And I, I think it's a... A great movie trying to understand or cope with uh, either A, being through it yourself, or um, when you have a loved one who's been through it and you have a hard time you know, breaking through, um, trying to, well, mend the line um, after they return. It, it, it's so difficult. And I just think this thing just has a lot of, well, there's a lot of veteran input in the movie when you look at the cast and characters. But exceptional acting, um, 
a lot of heart in this movie and I, I you know you can't beat Montana for a setting either but um, Brian Cox <laughs> Jay, Jay he's good um, if you just want something a little deeper um, I, I think there's something to be said for a movie that deals with the sad things in life and is uplifting in an honest and realistic way I think that's what this movie is and uh, you know when I talk about uh, the female character in the movie she had nothing to do with the war directly other than she helps the veterans at the VA Center in Montana the setting of this film and you know she's broken in a whole different way and I just think it does a great job of dealing with dealing with stuff and I think if you have a you know, a broken person you know we watch tv and like we see all these pieces well uh so and so went through this and it hasn't changed anything they're glad they went through it because it's made them a stronger person sometimes i think the positive things can be have about that much too much that much sugar on top and yeah sometimes i think you know you got to be realistic with pain i think we I, I'm, I'm a big fan of balanced optimism anyway um just think it's a great movie and um, great character study and it goes two hours and two minutes and to me that was that was the perfect length um, that you really got these characters flushed out their stories and what they were dealing with and um, just a great ending um, it never just absolutely you know it's so easy to overdo some of the emotional aspects of this movie and this movie never did it. It didn't run away from it. And it didn't just drag you into, uh, you know, into the tear dungeon or anything. So I saw it by myself and I thought it's a crime that on a weekend I saw it by myself. So mending the line, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, I would say four and three quarter stars. Hell, I'd give it five, but you know, you got to make it look like you're thinking about it or being, you know, really picky about a five. But Mending the Lion, I, I recommend it. And, uh, you know, it's going to be heavy. I mean, if you are a, a veteran, you've lost uh, lost someone over there. I, I don't know. For some, it's ther for some, it might be therapeutic for some in the other direction. But just a, I think it just really is a great reminder that these folks around us, you know, people have moved on. And there's no anniversary of such and such battle of... Uh, you know, uh, you try to remember some of the, uh, uh, El Caser. I, 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 I try to remember some of the towns, you know, you don't really remember a quote unquote battle of Kandahar. It was kind of like, eh, we take this, they took it back. We took it back. So there just isn't, there just aren't those defining moments other than the start of the wars. And it's, it's difficult. Um, but mending the line, it's, um, Movie with a lot of emotional intelligence, uh, great dialogue, great acting. Patricia Heaton, you know, she kind of, she's a VA, you know, uh, psychologist or something like that. She plays it straight, and I, I think that uh, that works out well in the film because she doesn't have to show a bunch of range. But uh, at the end, you kind of see that, yeah, they do take their work home with them. Mending the, mending the line. Check it out, folks. And if you want to wait for streaming, uh, that do it. But just put that on your to-do list either way.